So I'm Gareth Wynne Jones and I'm going to be talking about the immersive travel at Tin Llyfan Llama Vechan. That's our farm and all through the summer we'll be inviting people to come up and see different aspects of what we do and one of them aspects is shearing sheep and I'll be showing you how to shear a sheep in the traditional way with a blade and I will be showing you as well how to shear a sheep with a machine. So follow me as we start to cut on the sheep and we take the wool away. This is a very, very important part of our routine over the year. Um, it's important for the sheep's health and as well, it's important because the wool is a fantastic byproduct and can be used in many different things from clothing to insulation and as well, believe it or not, when you see my vegetable plot, I use these bits, which are the dags, the dirty bits, I use them around my veg, which is really, really good for keeping the moisture in the ground. And as well, when we do have frost, it keeps the frost off. And something else it's very good at is keeping the weeds down. So it's important when we're shearing these sheep to make sure that the sheep are comfortable and they're not too stressed out and they're not kicking. So as you can see, the sheep looks very happy. After we've done the tail and the back end, we then start cutting down the neck and taking the wool off here. We do this slowly and carefully and sometimes we do get slight nicks, little nicks onto the skin, but it's uh, not gonna harm the sheep because we will be later on putting some, um, like a, a special spray on it to stop the flies getting on it and to stop infections. So as you can see, this ewe lamb is shearing pretty well. And we're trying to get as much of the wool off as close to the skin as we possibly can. This is done here the traditional way as my forefathers would have done it for many, many years. It does take time and uh, I would usually do it with a machine, but I like to keep the traditional skills alive as well so people can see them. And there's a picture of my grandfather and his six brothers in Camanite, which is one of the family farms and they're all shearing and it's a lovely picture of how family farms would have been everybody co-working together to get the job done doesn't quite happen the same uh, today but we do co-work to gather the sheep and sometimes as well to shear the sheep so you can see the wool's coming off very very nicely we're about halfway through and this wool is very, very good wool. It's very fine and the microns in this will be very good for my wife and my daughter to make the Welsh woolen hats that they do. So not only do we use the wool for clothing and for insulation, but as well, the wool will be used to make Welsh woolen hats, which was my daughter's idea from a tour about five years ago with Rick Steves. So one of the ladies that were on the tour was a weaver and she was very keen to take some wool back home with her. So she asked Mary, would it be possible to buy some wool? And Mary said, yeah, no problem. So they got a bag and put the wool in, but Mary did think that the wool looked a bit dirty and a bit yellow, which was probably would have been a little bit of pee on it. <laughs> so she came up with a bright idea that she wanted to wash it. So her mother, Rianne, and Mary Googled it and they washed some wool. And then Mary 
had a, a felting kit for Christmas and that felting kit, she'd used it to make a reindeer, but she didn't have quite enough felt to finish the reindeer. So what she was doing in the evening was doodling with the wool and she doodled a little owl and then she doodled a little Welsh woolen hat, which was really, really lovely. And believe it or not, she gave it to me and not only am I renowned for my farming skills, but I'm renowned for my social media skills as well. So I'm known as a tweeting farmer, amongst other things. And what I did was I tweeted a picture of this beautiful woolen hat that my daughter had made. And off it went into the social media world and within five minutes, I had a phone call of a guy called Jim Jones. And Jim Jones is the head of Go North Wales, or North Wales Tourism Group, which do a lot of fantastic work to promote North Wales, its tourism and its businesses. So Jim phones and he says, wow, I love these Welsh woolen hats. Is there any chance that I can have some. Well, I said, it's nothing to do with me. It's my daughter that's making them. So I gave the phone over to Mary and I said, Mary, there's a guy on the phone who wants to ask about the Welsh woolen hats. So Jim was talking to Mary and they were going, whatever. And Mary was going, yes, Jim, yes, Jim, yes, Jim. And then Mary puts the phone down. And I said, Mary, what did Jim have to say? Well, Jim is going to Japan in a couple of weeks and Jim wants 30 Welsh woolen hats. Can you believe it? So in the next three weeks, they had to make 30 Welsh woolen hats to go out to Japan. And they were an absolute a roaring success out there and everybody loved them. We had pictures back from My Little Kitty and all kinds of Japanese um, people that are in business and very, very important people that Jim had met on his journey out in Japan. And since that time, you cannot believe it, we have sent the Welsh woolen hats all over the world. And after I finish the story, I finish shearing the sheep. So come along to Tin Cluivan to have a piece of this amazing immersive travel to see us shear these sheep, to see us sheepdog demonstration, to come and visit our Celtic hill fort, see the beautiful ponies. We've got so much to show you.